Well, we're on our way now. Uh, sorry for the delay. We had a little technical problem with my video. Greenfield Village is divided into historic districts. The Henry Ford Model T district is first on the left. There's we can enjoy a ride on the Henry Model T from the interior of the village. This is Henry Ford's birthplace. It's the White Farmhouse, built in 1861. He was born there in 1863. He moved here in 1944 from three and a quarter miles away, which is down the corner of Ford Road and Greenfield Road. Street District is where the Wright Brothers Home and Cycle Shops are. They're authentic buildings coming to us from Dayton, Ohio. Built in the 1870s. Learn about the beginning of aviation there. Visit Mrs. Cullen's Millinery Shop from downtown Detroit. Built about 1860. Next to her, the H.J. Hines Building, built in 1835 in Sharpsburg, Pennsylvania. And Sir John Bennett's Wood Shop from London, England, all on Main Street. And uh, to the left behind the Ford Builder Company is the loading dock for the Model T rides. Edison at Works in the next historic district. Thomas Edison is president with the pounds in 93. U.S. patents, many more from England, France, and Germany. On the Village Green at the Logan County Courthouse where Abraham Lincoln practiced law. It was built in 1840 in Lincoln, Illinois. The long green building here is the restructured Menlo Park Laboratory. The gold building we're approaching is Sarah Jordan's boarding house. Many of the unmarried men who work for Edison at the lab live there. It's one of the first buildings in the United States wired for electricity. Next to Sarah Jordan is Edison's official Fort Myers Florida Laboratory. And around the corner from him is the Luther Burbank Garden Office, the only building from the West Coast of the United States, built in 1906 in Santa Rosa, California. Covered bridge comes to us from Southwest Pennsylvania. This is the entranceway into Porches and Parlors District. Here you can visit historic homes such as Noel Webster's 1823 home from New Haven, Connecticut, Robert Frost's home, the Maddox Farmhouse, the Hermitage Slave Quarters, McGuffey's Cabin. And the other side of the bridge here, up the sidewalk to the right, the sandstone complex is the Coxwell Cottage built in 1619 in Chadsworth County, England. We'll be stopping here at Susquehanna Station. It's a four minute stop. If you choose to get off here, the train will be back in 30 minutes. Please remain seated. Wait for the whistle from the engineer if you plan to get off. Once you hear that whistle, you'll know the brakes have been locked and be safe to exit on the left, left side only. Well, we're on our way now to the main gate Firestone Station. We will not be stopping at the district people that is under renovation. The white building here is the uh, I'm sorry, this is the um, 
Susquehanna Plantation, built in the very early 1800s, come to us from St. Mary's County, Maryland, on the Patuxent River. It was 700 acres of tobacco, wheat, and corn. The red building is the Clinton House, where Mr. and Mrs. Clinton raised seven children in that small building in South Sudbury, Massachusetts. The windmill is the Ferris windmill, considered the oldest in the United States, built in 1640 on Cape Cod. It was a gift to Henry Ford by his National Dealer Association in 1936. And the dark gray building next to it, the Daggett Farmhouse, dating to 1754 from Andover, Connecticut. independent educational institution that's not affiliated with the Ford Motor Company or the Ford Foundation. We are supported by our members, our donors, and our guests. now is a wetland and wildlife preserve. There are some white-tailed deer, fox, and coyote back here. Various birds such as blue herons, white egrets, red-tailed hawks, and wild turkeys. is the process steam locomotives go through to purge the boiler of any impurities. It's uh, referred to as a blowdown.
field year is Walnut Grove. It's an activities field throughout our season. We do many things in the park out here. The buildings up on the hill are still part of the Porches and Parlors District. We're on the back side of the town. The red brick building is an old Webster home. The large yellow complex we're approaching is the Henry Ford Academy. It's a charter high school. Over 525 students attend. They're selected through a lottery system from Wayne County, Michigan. Graduation rate exceeding 95%. The curriculum focus is on science, technology, engineering, the arts, and math. The upper classroom have classrooms out here. Some of them in the Pullman cars we're approaching. The ninth graders are in the indoor museum. When Henry Ford opened Greenfield Village in 1929, he wanted to convey the inspiration of the American genius to the children. With Henry Ford, it was children first. He could be seen with them in the classroom to non field trip. He wanted to inspire them through America's traditions of ingenuity, resourcefulness, and innovation. And we continue that here today at the village. style restaurant. Connected to it a little farther down is the uh, a white building. It's called the Eagle Tavern, built in 1830 in Clinton, Michigan. That's about 50 miles away. Well, we're approaching the uh, railroad junction area. We'll be passing by the Smith's Creek platform that's under construction. Uh, we're extending the platform by about 51 feet to accommodate the, another passenger car on the train. We're running three of them today. Once that's completed, we'll be able to attach the fourth car and uh, do big events such as the Thomas the Tank, who will be here next month. And then certainly in Halloween, It'll all be boarding here at Smith Creek Depot with the, the fourth car. Smith Creek Depot is one of the original 28 buildings in Greenville Village when we opened October 21st, 1929. It's an authentic train depot, comes to us from Smith Creek, Michigan, about 60 miles north of northeast of here, just outside of Fort Huron. There's a great uh, connection with young Thomas Edison in that building. If you get the opportunity, uh, come back to it. It is an open uh, building, and there is a presenter in there who can tell you all about uh, the life in the Smith Creek Depot during the American Civil War. The new complex uh, to the left, the open-sided building, is the Detroit Central uh, Vegetable House, which is uh, brand new. 
just opened up this season a couple days ago. A lot of events will be taking place there. The uh, brick building is the Detroit Toledo and Milwaukee Roundhouse, originally built in 1884 in Marshall, Michigan, about an uh, hour away west of here. We're going to make a uh, slight stop here, pick up another uh, radio for me, and we'll be on our way. This is a side you'll see a large farmhouse at the Firestone Farm built in 1828 in Columbia County, Ohio. It is the first place in town that holds a farm Firestone, the originator of the fire and rubber that was created in present It's an open farm for you to visit. It is uh, run year round. Just a moment, please. 